Brian Savchik here. Today I want to talk about relocation packages. So if you're someone who would consider relocation for the right position, or if you're a recruiter and you're currently working on a position that offers relocation and you haven't had much experience with relocation packages, then the information I'm about to provide to you should be very, very valuable. So what I want to do is break this up into two separate videos. The first one today is going to be more about essential relocation facts that everyone should know and consider prior to even considering a relocation package. And the second video is going to be much more about the actual packages themselves and what to look for, uh, how do you know you've been offered a really good package, uh, and then are there any elements of the relocation package that are negotiable? Okay, so want to jump right in. And j just so you know, over the past five years, I've probably relocated about 40 people. And since August 1st, when I started my own company, I'm now on my fifth relocation. So I have a lot of experience in this, in this matter. And I can tell you, all of the relocation is very complicated. All of the packages are very different. And the more information you know up front going into it, the better the better you'll be better off you'll be um, once the package is actually presented to you, right? So the relocation is really offered by companies in two separate forms, right? So there's, there's cash where it's very simple, right? C company offers you a certain amount of cash to cover your relocation costs. And then the other way is uh, through a, what I call a formalized comprehensive relocation package. So these formal comprehensive relocation packages are generally managed by outside vendors. They're, they're very thorough. Uh, they involve uh, sell-side assistance, buy-side assistance on, on housing, uh, full, full moving expenses, soup to nuts, right? So, uh, and they are all very different. Uh, so... <clears throat> want to just kind of just jump in and really talk about more of the formalized relocation packages and things to look out for and know going in. So one of the things that's important to understand is, and, and most people don't know this, is, is your eligibility for the package. So in order to, to qualify for, for a formalized relocation package, your new commute, so the, the company you're interviewing with, the new company, the, your commute to that new company must be 50 miles or more longer than your current commute, right? So it must be 50 miles longer than your current commute. So if your current commute's 30 miles and your new company is only 70 miles away from your, your, from your house, well, that's only a 40-mile difference in commutes, and therefore you would not qualify for a formalized relocation package. So in that same scenario where your current commute is 30 miles, you need, your new company needs to be at least 80 miles away from your, from your current home in order to qualify for a formalized relocation package. Secondly, you need to physically work full-time in your new location for 39 of weeks of the first year of employment. Okay, so that's important to know in case you weren't planning on actually moving to the new location right away in the first year. You have to be working out of that location right away, okay, for pretty much because 39 weeks out of the year is most of the year, right? Um, another thing, you have one year to exercise all of the benefits in the relocation package one year from your start date in order to exercise those benefits or you lose them. So if you're going to be moving to, so basically if you're going to be selling your house, you need to sell that house within a year of your start date of your new company. If you're going to be buying a new home and you're going to be taking advantage of some of the buy side uh, relocation benefits, you need to that needs to get done within a year of your start date. A lot of people don't, don't realize that. Um, with every company, if they're providing you relocation, it's, it's a lot of money they're shelling out, so there's going to be a payback clause if you leave, right? So generally, um, I see I, two years is usually, the, is, is usually what I see here. So you're, you'll, some companies, you'll have to pay all of the money back if you leave within two years, and some, of it, some companies have it tiered where uh, after one year, uh, you owe, a, you, if you leave within the first year, you owe 100% 100 of, 100 of it back. And if you leave between years one and two, you would only owe 50% back. I've also seen companies where you only have to stay a year and, and, and once the year is up, you don't owe any of the money back. So that's also something to, to, to keep in mind as well. Um, if you're going to be selling a home and you want to take advantage of some of the sell side assistance involved in a relocation package, understand going in that not all homes are eligible for, relo for relocation assistance, okay? So for instance, um, co-ops are not eligible. Um, 
multifamily homes are generally not eligible. Uh, vacation homes are definitely not eligible. Um, if you have a house with zoning issues or, or building code violations, if you have an illegal bathroom in your house or, or a bathroom you put in and you didn't notify the town and it's not on the, the certificate of occupancy, um, you're going to have to, you're, that's a problem you're going to have to deal with prior to selling your home. So, so understand that going in. And as well as a, if your home is valued at a million dollars or more, there, there could be a cap on, on some of the assistance, like the brokerage, uh, the, 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 uh, the brokerage fee assistance, right, on, on the sell side of your home, if it's, it's, if it's over a million dollars and it's more than a $60,000 fee, there may be a cap there. So know that going in. Um, also, for, for the formalized packages, they're all managed by outside companies. You're going to have to go through that relocation company for almost everything. So even down to picking a real estate agent. So if, if, if you have a favorite real estate agent or the person who sold you your home, you want to then turn around and, and, and use them to sell your home, well, you, you need to make sure and go through that relocation company and make sure that that, that, that agent is a... Uh, is has been certified or verified by the company as as an as someone that you're able to use uh, on the sale of your home. Uh, the second you get an offer, that all has to go immediately through the through the through the relocation company. See, most of these relocation companies, a lot of them actually buy the home from you, and th once you have an offer, they'll actually buy the home from you, and then they'll sell it to the seller. So you, you there's a lot of moving parts involved, and you need to make sure that you are adhering to all the rules and, and regulations involved in your in in, in the relocation package. Um, and then the I, the last thing I want to talk about is the sale of a home. The sale of your home is the absolute largest line item in terms of cost with relocation, and that has to do with the broker's fee. So this is, could be up to 6% of the, of, the, of the cost of your house. So uh, if you have a $400,000 house, you could be looking at a $24,000 brokerage fee. So why is that important to think about going in? So if you're, if you're being offered a relocation package that's cash, and it's not a formalized relocation package, understand that if you, weren't, if you were not already planning on selling your house or if you don't have much equity in your home or uh, let's say you recently bought it and let's say you bought the home two years ago and really all the payments you've been making on your mortgage has really been more of the interest than the actual principal, um, if you're going to end up selling that home for, for, this, for a similar price as you bought it, you're probably going to take a loss on that because of the brokerage fee. So, so understand that going in. If you're, if you're being offered $50,000 for relocation in cash, after taxes, that's going to look more like $30,000. And if you have a $24,000 brokerage fee, well, you only have $6,000 left. So if you really want to understand going into a... a, a you know, a relocation process or, or at the very beginning, understand, you know, is the company providing you re cash for relocation or are they offering you a, a comprehensive kind of full relocation package? And you should understand that both if, if you're a recruiter or if you're a candidate, because uh, obviously the sell of your home is can be in a major, major cost. And if the bulk of the relocation money is being used for that, then you're going to have very little left over for your physical move. That those the, the the brokerage fee on the sale of a home is generally covered by in in these formal formalized relocation packages. So understand that going in. Um, so those are my tips for today uh, around relocation packages. If you understand some of that stuff, if you're going into um, uh, an interview that is that for a job that's going to require relocation, you really want to understand, you know, am I being offered cash for relocation? Am I being offered a formalized relocation package? And then all of the other things that I just discussed are things that you really want to know and keep in mind going into the process. So anyway, I really hope you got some value out of this. Uh, look for the next video, which, is, like I mentioned, is going to cover uh, much more about the actual packages themselves and what to look out for. I uh, hope you got some value out of this. Uh, feel free to share the video. Feel free to leave some comments at the bottom. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good day.